I have nine clever Dollar Tree hacks that are going to beat Amazon hands down. Oh, and guess what? The secret's out. So many of you think that I'm related to Matt, the deal guy. I know, look at all of this. Well, fun fact, he's actually my brother. Or maybe he's my lover. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In a previous video, I showed the pink stuff from the Dollar Tree how it's basically crap. And one of you had asked how I ended up cleaning my patio furniture, so I will be sharing that little trick here at the end of the video in case you were interested. Enough blah, blah, blah. Let's move into the first hack, shall we? When it comes to cleaning things in your home, it's kind of like trying to find the best diet, right? Every diet is the right fix, and you try all of them, and you're like, that none of that works. So we're gonna become stain experts today. There's a few things that we need from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna grab this rug. We're gonna use it as our carpet in this experiment. You are about to learn a lot when it comes to stain removal. I also wanted to try out this Dollar Tree Love My Carpet Cleaner to see how it compares with the other items that we're gonna be using today. Of course, some palm olive. I love the smell of this. Ooh, so fresh. It's gonna work for what we are going to be doing. And then some rubbing alcohol. Dollar Tree sells 70%. However, if you do use 91%, it's gonna be way more effective for what I'm about to show you. And how about this glass cleaner? Stay tuned. We have a little trick here. Apparently this was recommended by a professional glass cleaner on YouTube. Is it fact or is it fiction? How about some cleaning vinegar or regular vinegar? You may be saying to yourself, Andrew Jean, we could just get stains out with either of these products. However, this carpet cleaning expert did an experiment in this video and he showed that vinegar did nothing. And if you are new here, I read all the comments and LG Aussie says that she saw this video on YouTube recommending Windex or Dollar Tree version to take any stain out. So let's see if it's accurate. This professional carpet cleaner says do not use Windex. So what do we believe? I'm about to show you and save you so much time. Here is the professional carpet cleaner. We are gonna do his test today. And let me tell you, we are in for a treat. I'm gonna be sharing lots of recipes here with you today that you can easily screenshot. So here are the directions on how to do that if you are not familiar pause this video at any point that you need to. All right, here is that stain removal recipe. Feel free to pause the video and screenshot it because this is what we are going to be using today and it is good. It is real good. Here's that 91% alcohol that I was talking about earlier. I got this one from Amazon. And Patricia asks, how do you get blood out of carpeting? Well, the trick I will show you today will get it out, but I also have some alternative ideas for you. Here is the blood removal recipe. Go ahead and screenshot this. It includes hydrogen peroxide and it has worked every time for me. Also, Folix is a fantastic cleaner. So we're gonna see how this one compares. It's a number one bestseller. This is great for blood. We're gonna see how it compares to our homemade DIY stain removal recipe. What do you think it's gonna be? I have to say I was very surprised. So to make our stain, we're gonna use this black shoe polish, which is very difficult to get up when it comes to stain removal techniques. We got our Dollar Tree rug and we're just gonna go to town. I'm putting about three dots here of this shoe polish in four corners, and we're gonna test out all four of our DIY and Dollar Tree goodies and our Amazon products. So the next time you have a stain, you're gonna know exactly the first line of defense, or should I say first line of attack that you need Need to go to to get that stain up and away here is one of these secret ingredients we need some sort of extraction tool this is what all the pros use i just have this shop vac i actually got this gifted i believe from my parents i'm going to link a really affordable one in the description box below okay folex cleaner is going to be our first test here. I've used this product. I love this product, but I need to see how it compares to all the other stains that we have. So I'm going to get it really wet. Then I'm going to go in with my shop vac and extract the stain. I let that sit maybe for five seconds, just the time it took me to spray and then get my shop vac to extract. And you can see here that it is coming up very nicely. No scrubbing whatsoever. Not at all. Now, I knew this product was good, but I did not know it was going to be this good. That's why they tell you to blot stains, not to rub them in, because it's kind of mirroring extraction. Now, we're going in with the Dollar Tree window cleaner. I do like this as a window cleaner. It is fun to use, but how does it work when it comes to stains? We are extracting with our shop vac, and you can see not much of anything 
is happening. So maybe I needed to use Windex in order to see if this hack really worked. I kind of doubt it. Uh, so I'm not impressed. I'm so glad I tried it. I love the recommendations. This is how we figure out if things actually work or not, because a lot of YouTube videos are not truthful on the internet. Now we're going in with the Dollar Tree specific carpet cleaner. This is what it is designed for. And you can see here it comes out pretty quickly. Now you'll notice here I should have brought my tamping spoon over so I'm just going to use my finger to make sure that it gets into the product. Meaning the carpet foam just kind of sits on top. So we're going to extract. Let's just see. I was hopeful on this one and I don't know. Not good. Maybe better than the Windex aka the Dollar Tree window cleaner but that that is not good. I mean I could do a few more treatments. I could let it sit longer. I could tamp it in a little bit more but that was not the goal here. I just wanted to see if I spray a product down and I extract it which one does the best job. Now into our DIY stain removal recipe. This is what the pro recommended that I showed you earlier. You're just going to grab yourself some tap water and your alcohol and we're going to grab a tablespoon. You can use more alcohol if your stain needs to lift. However, do not let that alcohol get into your carpet pad because it can damage it. And I'm also using a half a teaspoon of any sort of dish soap of your choice. I have eight ounces of water. Now at the end here, I'm actually going to double it so that I can have this for future use, have more of it on hand because it does have a good shelf life. Pour this into your Dollar Tree bottle or whatever bottle that you have on hand. We got eight ounces. We're ready to go. Let's spray it on our stain just like we did with all the other products and the Folex. We're not going to let it sit. This one I am just going to tamp just a little bit, a couple of tamps, make sure it's doing its thing. And then we are going to grab our shot back and extract and see what it does. Let's watch. Let's see. I'm excited. It's coming up better than the other two Dollar Tree things. Look at this. Again, add more alcohol is needed. You may want to do a couple more treatments, but you can see here that came up really well. Our Folex did a fantastic job, but the DIY one is really great too. So again, I'm going to do one more treatment right here. You can make a bunch and have it on hand ready to go, tamp it down, and then go ahead and extract. And you're going to see that this comes up really well well for a DIY cleaner with products that you typically have laying around your house. And survey says let's just see how well this very difficult stain looks compared to all the other products. Yes, the Folex did come out with just one spray. However, if you love a good DIY option that you can use all around your house, on a shirt, on your couch, basically anywhere, this is great. You can make a bunch all at once. The Folex is also very affordable. So take your pick. Do you like the DIY version or do you just want to have something bought and sent to your home? Either way works. I like both for different reasons. One final look at all the products that we used and the end result. Let me know in the comments box below if you were surprised. Which one did you think was going to do the best? Now here's the key when you need to mix it up. Swirl it. Don't because then it's just going to get all foamy and you don't want that. So just World. I've created these beautiful labels for all the products that I'm going to be showing you here today. If you click in the description box, you can also print these labels to use as well. They look so beautiful and sleek. I love the modern design. Here are the stickers that I use. 12 labels per sheet. It's a two by two. Now here is the little green multi-purpose portable vacuum for $123. You do not need this. No, you do not. Even though it is a number one bestseller on Amazon. Here's what I would recommend just under $50 for this Stanley portable car vacuum. You can carry it, you can use it. This is gonna be great for any extraction. Pair this with the DIY stain removal recipe and you are a champ, you are conquering it. Christian and Patricia both love this vacuum. Well, hello, I'm in the Dollar Tree. Of course, I spill coffee on my white shirt. Can you see like right here in there? I know, this is a weird shot. Um, so I wanna try something here. I'm gonna take some hand sanitizer. Don't worry, I'm gonna buy this. And I wanna just see, I don't have a Tide pen in my purse. It's been on my list to get more. But I wanna see if I can just get that out. Oh, there's a mess in here.
Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most unflattering angles ever. But look at that! It's still wet because I put some on there. So what I did is I just uh, put this directly on my shirt and then I used this little wet wipe so that I could blot, blot it out. But oh my goodness! I mean, a Tide pen is much easier uh, in terms of ease of use and convenience, but man, in a pinch, this worked great. Ow, and this is another reason that I wear black all the time because I spill on myself. Like I just need to come equipped with a sippy cup whenever I want to drink something. Oh my word, this next one. Uh, how much personal information do I disclose to you? How much are you even interested in? That's really the better question. Well, let me just tell you this. We have a pooping bathroom in our house because someone, I won't name the person, would poop on the first floor and it would stink up the entire house for hours on end. So we've, we've named the downstairs bathroom the pooping bathroom. And according to my five-year-old, I never do that thing, number two, so I don't ever have to use that bathroom. So it's not me if you're thinking that it was me. Or was it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it wasn't. It isn't. But after today, you are gonna become the most discreet pooper you have ever met. Get yourself some poopery or not for only four ounces, $22 on Amazon for this. Holy smokes, you must really value your house smelling good and covering up that poop smell. Now you certainly can get this small bottle Dollar Tree version for yes, $1.25. I have used this, I do love this. However, I need a bigger bottle and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Now this all-purpose cleaner, I have bought a ton of these. I went back, I got lucky, but I love it for yes, the spray, but the bottle more than anything. Thing, a black bottle because on Amazon you can buy these $3.47 per bottle. Uh, no, thank you. I'll take $1.25 per bottle. When you're using any sort of oil, essential oil, you want to make sure that it is in a dark bottle because the sunlight can break down the oils faster. I love these beautiful ones from Dollar Tree. These two essential oils smell so yummy, tranquility and energizing. However, you will need to use more of this oil for mm, higher potencies, shall I say. Now, these are also awesome. Awesome. very potent. Maybe you want apple cinnamon smelling toilet. Maybe you want fresh linen or lavender. I'm all about team fresh linen. So lots of options for you when it comes to our homemade. Let me just show you what I mean. You can see there's quite a bit in there. Nothing's coming out. It's because of how the bottle is tipped. So you kind of have to like get your hand in the toilet in order to keep the bottle upright, but who wants to be doing that? Not I. So although these are very cute, I like them small, you can put in your purse. They're not functional when it gets towards the bottom of this because you can't use the product properly. Or maybe I just prefer four squirts rather than the two when it comes to my toilet. But you can see the product size here. This very beautiful rose gold color one is great, but the black one is even bigger. We're gonna grab ourselves about eight ounces of water, and I'm just gonna do two drops of our palm olive dish soap. It doesn't really matter. You can use anything. And two teaspoons of our rubbing alcohol. It doesn't need to be 91% like the stain removal. And I'm gonna go in here with survey says fresh linen for another day. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree essential oil. Now I will tell you this, you're gonna wanna use more essential oil if you want higher potency. The spray barrier traps odor below the surface. That's how poo spray essentially works. Pretty cool, right? Look at that oil right there. Yes, that's gonna do the magic when it comes to your uh, number twos into the toilet. Now put that into your spray bottle. This bottle fits eight ounces perfectly. So I just wanted to show you that in case you wanted to go with these beautiful bottles from the Dollar Tree. I've also created some labels for you. I'll show you here in just a moment. Now I'm not gonna test this out for you on camera because why would we do that? But right now go ahead and take a screenshot of this DIY poo spray so that you have it on hand. Here are those labels that I was talking about earlier. It's the perfect size for these bottles. It looks so sleek and nice. Who knew that poo spray could look so fancy in your bathroom? Oh yes, my friend. Now I wouldn't put this big bottle in your purse like the poo beret, but it will last you much longer. Now, are you still gonna run into the same problem when this gets lower? Yes, however, you get a lot more squirts for your money with a larger bottle. Those other small ones, we run out of them like within two, three weeks. I know, sickening. Here's the beauty of this. You're gonna have to clean your toilet less often because of that dish soap, a degreaser, oh yes. I love me a good thrifted item. I also have some good thrifted items coming your way and some upcoming 
videos, but sometimes they need a little zhuzhing, a little fancy-like, a little something more. So you'll love this next one. At the Dollar Tree, yes, we have not left the Dollar Tree. That's what this entire video is about. Grab yourself some wallpaper. There's so many beautiful options to choose from. I just could not decide. And if you want yourself a wooden tray for what I'm going to show you, I found this in the $5 section, but I got some more affordable options for you in terms of size and what you get. And then I found these beautiful blue sort of ceramic balls. I thought, oh, this is going to look perfect for just $1.25. You can find decoration like this on Amazon that is way more expensive here's some additional dishware at Dollar Tree we're gonna create um, a masterpiece if you will is what I'm gonna call it but this is just to give you some ideas of what they have and then of course some e6000 super affordable this product works amazing nothing in this video is sponsored I like to thrift one time per week just to see if I can find any goodies and I did find this tray I've actually showed it in a previous video how I shined it up with some olive oil and lemon $6.99 for this. The quality is amazing. I don't love the inside of it. So this is where our Dollar Tree wallpaper is going to come in. I couldn't decide. Do I go with the brown wooden look or do I go with this beautiful blue and gold? And beautiful blue and gold one here. My home is very beach inspired. I live in Minnesota where it's cold the most time of the year, the majority of the year. So I like to just have a little extra warmth, beachy vibe. These are also Dollar Tree scissors, the Betty Crocker, I believe they are my absolute favorite. You're going to cut out your wallpaper. You saw there, I just used my finger to create the line. It's a great way to do that. And then it's just peel and stick. And I made a lot of mistakes when I was putting these in the tray, but I was able to lift them and reposition them. This little scraper tool is also from the craft section of the Dollar Tree. You can use this, you could use a credit card, you could just use your hand to get those bubbles out. When it comes to E6000, some Vaseline can help keep that cap from sticking but if it does stick use the inside of your Betty Crocker scissors to open it up you can see here I've taken one of these Dollar Tree bowls the beautiful one flipped it upside down and I'm putting some E6000 all around the rim and if you make a little mess that's okay I have this on some wax paper just to pick up any excess glue and look what we have created for, I don't know, what is this, like under $5, just over $5 if you do the math here. It looks so gorgeous, minus the plant, although this pot and the dirt is from the Dollar Tree. The plant I got at Walmart on clearance. And my favorite candle, that is not from the Dollar Tree, but it smells so good. You could also use this in your kitchen. That is a veggie brush, by the way, from the Dollar Tree. I actually use it to clean shoes. I've shown this in a previous video. I want to change this out in my bathroom. This is a Dollar Tree tree tray but look at how beautiful this looks it adds a little extra pizzazz a drop tray i love the height on it uh Amazing. My client has a lemon inspired kitchen, so I created this for her. Going into my organizational stash for things that I have thrifted, I found this one for just $2.99. Look at how gorgeous this is for literally under three bucks. But we can create the same thing for just $2.50 from the Dollar Tree with a little extra color, a little extra something. As you know, I go into people's homes and help them organize spaces, particularly closets. So this next one we're gonna call Creative Case. This was a recent project that I did. I organized a linen closet. Here is the before. I just want to show you everything that is in here and what it looks like. I needed to get creative with this particular linen closet and really maximize the space and make it super functional. But there's one problem. I'll get to that here in a second, but here is the after. I did not remove any product. Everything that you saw previously is still in here, but look at how beautiful this is. I love this transformation and it took me maybe 30 minutes, but it was so hard to maintain. This was the before. This had previously been organized by somebody else. So here's what I did differently. I put all the fitted sheets on one level, the flat sheets and the pillowcases separate. That way you don't have that bunching cluttered situation. You have everything where it needs to go. I know it's a little unconventional, but it works and it's easier to to maintain. So now we're going to go over to the Dollar Tree. We're going to grab a pillowcase. I have several of these on hand. They are thin. I will tell you that, but they are beautiful. They do the trick. I use these every other week in my kid's bedroom. I'll talk about more of that in just a second, but I'm going to show you a really fun trick when it comes to folding your pillowcases. Fold the top down, and then you're going to fold each of the sides in, just like I'm showing you here. Take your bottom, fold it up towards that top flap, now go ahead and we're going to roll this into thirds. That's two. This is three. 
Now we've created a pocket and we're gonna flip this pillowcase on itself and you're gonna see here how beautiful this looks and how quickly, and I'm doing this in a slow-mo version, meaning this is the real time, but look at how slow that I'm doing this. You can tuck things in here, your pillowcases stay together. I especially love this if you're gonna separate your bedding items to avoid that clumping, cluttered tornado situation that often happens in linen closets because if you pull one out, then it stays together. Betty asks, did you make a video on making kids' beds and keeping them neat? I've tried everything, oh yes I have, and I have the solution at this point in time. In fact, I used to use Betty's. I made three videos about the product because I loved it at the time. However, uh, well, let's just say I no longer support Betty's for various reasons. And I will say this, drying the Betty's is very challenging, especially when I would have to do three of them. So this is what I do now. This is my boys' room. They have shared bedrooms, as you can see here. I just use a fitted sheet and a quilt. And I got both of these things from Target. When you use a flat sheet, it can make the bed look messy. And this is easy for my kids to maintain. The quilt is warm enough and it is so easy to wash. And when and if they get warmer, which they don't typically, they have a blanket on the end of their bed for decor, but also functionality that they can cover up with. No one has complained that they have been cold. In fact, if anything, they get hot both in the winter and the summer. This is my daughter's room. The same strategy, the same technique. Less is more. It is so easy for her to make. All she has to do is straighten that quilt and just fold it over. Quilt and a decorative blanket that they can use is all that you need. And look how nice this looks. And this literally takes seconds to make every single day. And I found with the flat sheets, unless you tuck them in really well, it just makes everything look cluttered and messy. Sometimes the silliest things that we do to clean and organize our home are actually the most effective. So we're gonna call this one silly silicone. That just doesn't sound right. There's something else that comes to my mind when I say that. Maybe we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Next, we're grabbing one of these wok strainers. I've never used it for its intended purpose. I'm actually gonna show you two ways that you're gonna use this that has nothing to do with cooking or a wok. Grab those silicone brushes. This is from the Dollar Tree. I've used it to clean out my toaster in a previous video. This one is also from the Dollar Tree. The bristles are a bit thicker, but what happens is food gets stuck in here and it's very difficult to clean. So here now, we go in with our DIY power wash recipe with our beautiful label that I've created for you. Again, that is linked in the description box below. But take a screenshot of this DIY power wash if you want to have it on hand to save yourself money. I use this everywhere in my house to clean the refrigerator, to clean a cabinet, to clean a cupboard, you name it. I can't think of a place that I haven't used to clean it other than my granite countertops. But here we are using our wok strainer and you can see it can get in all those grooves that sometimes may be tricky for your fingers to get into or maybe your dishwasher is not able to to clean depending upon what you're cooking, what tasty thing is in your kitchen. But I'm just showing you here with two of these silicone brushes how well it works to get in all those spaces. You could do this lickety split and then throw it in your dishwasher or hand wash it as needed. That way you're not trying to look through all the crevices of your silicone brush seeing if you missed anything. I love these brushes. They are so satisfying to use and clean. And then I just lay them out to dry on a towel or anything. I love this wok strainer for straining my raspberries. It fits one whole container plus another on top of that, but it's the perfect size if you wanna have it on hand. This is some apple cider vinegar. I spray it on all of the produce and I let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I rinse the fruit to get any sort of, I don't know, taste or smell out. I will say once you rinse it, you can't taste the apple cider vinegar and you can't smell it when you're eating your fruit. My kids would tell me at first they were like, mom, what are you spraying on that? And the fact that they continue to eat it is a really good sign uh, that it works and cleans your fruit really, really well so that it can last longer and save yourself some money all at the same time. I could not be more grateful for you watching these videos and for all the super thanks and sharing of the content and thumbs up that you give this channel. So I wanna give a special shout out and mention to the following people for helping this channel grow to help me buy better equipment to help me hire help to grow these videos and make them the best that you've ever seen on YouTube. That is in fact my goal. It's a very lofty goal, but, but it's my goal to make these better than anything that you've seen. Thank you so much to Tamara, Donna, Cynthia, Deborah, 
Joanny or Joanny, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Lynn, as always, she is a consistent contributor. Pearl Hammer, Light Kim, and Marissa. Marissa also lives in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. If you also live in the area and you are looking to get your home refreshed, a space in your home, send me an email. I'd love to meet you face to face and help you out. There's something about opening a drawer that's all nice and organized. I don't know, let me know if you can relate to this. You open it and it's just it just gives you this high, like, I don't know, it's just weird. If you can relate to me, let me know, but I want you to open all your cabinets in your drawers and never want to close them again because it looks so good inside rather than hiding everything. So we're gonna call this one Shocking Socks. You know I'm a fanatic about organizers. This one on Amazon is about $17 when it comes to organizing your undergarments. I own them, however, you do not need them. Oh my word, these are so cute. Look at this right here. Oh, I love that. I want all of them. I don't need any more, but I want them all. Oh. I think I can find a clever way to use them. And you bet I did. There's also these other Dollar Tree versions. We have sort of this clear and then we have a black version that's very similar. So pick your fancy. Which one do you like? I actually chose two. So here are those organizers that I was showing you previously from Amazon. They work great. This is my daughter's room. The other one was my shared son's room. But here's what we can do. We are in my two and a half year old's dresser drawer and I want to organize her socks a bit better. You can see that these two sort of interlock in a way I'll talk more about that here in a second and then we have these beautiful I don't know like sea green colored ones I'm gonna use these in her dresser drawers to organize all these socks the nice thing when you contain and organize you actually create more space more square footage without having to eliminate or refresh anything or declutter anything however you want to refer to that I actually have room in the back of this drawer as you can see just from using these two organizers two dollars and 50 cents here's my son's room but let me show you what you can do with these you can turn them uh, horizontal you can turn them vertically and I've automatically created more space now I will say these do not stick together very well but I like the idea and it still looks really nice and organized however you want to do it they will most likely stay together if you're opening and closing your drawer as you can see here but they just pop off really easily but I do like the concept of this we potty in the USA. By the way, I hate that song by Miley Cyrus. I'm sure she's a fabulous person, but oh my God, that song gets stuck in my head. It's like the universe cursing me for disliking this song. Well, after this next little hack, you are gonna be the life of the party, but we're gonna call it the knife of the party. <laughs> no, seriously, knife of the party. Here on Amazon for about $15, you can get this knife roll bag, heavy duty, 13 slots. But if you're not a chef, how else do you, you do the following with your knife? I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So Dollar Tree has knives. I've never bought them, never used them. A lot of different sizes. We're gonna try this one out here today and see how well or not well it works. We're also gonna grab an oven mitt. I'm loving this bluish color. As you know, you can see it goes with my home decor. These are great quality oven mitts, by the way, if you need something. Here's our Dollar Tree knife. I'm gonna use it to cut up some peppers. Let's see how well it works. I love having fresh fruit, fresh produce on hand because then I'm less likely to grab the other, other delicious things you know, Doritos, candies, chocolates, which I always have in my house. But I cut those up pretty quickly, but I will say that it is not a sharp knife. It is very dull, so I had to go in and sharpen it with this sharpener that works great, very functional, very versatile. Now, once I was able to sharpen the knife, it does work better, but hey, it's a dollar twenty-five, so I can just, you know, make it a better knife once I sharpen it. Now, you're gonna grab yourself some tape. It doesn't really matter what kind of tape. You can use this tape. You can use painter's tape. In fact, painter's tape would be excellent because it is a bit thicker. You're going to cover up your knife, the sharp end, because you don't want that poking anybody or your blade dulling. And then you're going to grab your Dollar Tree oven mitt. And you're like, Andrea, why am I putting knives in an oven mitt? Well, if you're going to a party or a picnic or you have a birthday party and you need to bring a knife to cut the cake, well, here's a great way to transport that knife. Or if you're moving and you need to transport sharp things. And then, yes, these binder clips, you can also get at the Dollar Tree. Now, everything's contained and easy to access and everybody is safe. When you're ready to use your knife, just pull it out, take your tape off the end. You are ready to go. Yes, you are the life 
of the party because now you can cut all the delicious things that everybody wants to eat. This is actually a bookend for organizing books, but you can use it to organize, yes, your towels, your oven mitts, all the things. We have this problem in our home. We open the cheese packages and then someone else goes in the refrigerator and we open up another cheese package. So we got like two, three cheese packages all opened up and then one of them gets moldy and the next get moldy and then we have no cheese because it's all moldy. But after this next hack, there's gonna be no more moldy cheese or anything else for that matter. A Dollar Tree soap holder. I know you're saying in your jeans, soap holder and cheese. What, what do you got up your sleeve? What do you have up your sleeve? Well, I'm about to show you. I'm just taking my DIY power wash. I want to clean this off. Now, I want to make sure that these suction cups are a little bit moist because it will stick better. You can also use hairspray when it comes to these. And it's uh, over a week later. This is still sticking in my fridge, by the way, if you're wondering how well it sticks. But you can put butter in there. Yes. Now, this cheese is front and center. It's saying use me first rather than digging in that crisper below where all the other cheese is held. Same with lunch meats. Those go bad in our house. So you know when you open a cabinet or a drawer and you get a hint of smell that smells good and you're like, ooh, I forgot that I put that there. Well, I've been experiencing that for a couple weeks now and I want to share that, ooh, I forgot that was there moment with you. We're going to call this next hack spring 365 because it's going to be like spring 365 days a year in your home. Look at all these beautiful soap options. Why does Dollar Tree carry so many different hand soaps? They must be great sellers, but the packaging on some of these, I'm so impressed. Now, some are more potent than others. You are going to want higher potency, but again, it depends on your individual needs. Caress. Anyone else love caress, the smell of it? Okay, get to the baby section at Dollar Tree. Grab these mittens. We got four color options here. This will all make sense in just a minute. These tiny little gift bags. Well, they're not tiny, but they are small. Three come in a pack. They are so beautiful for what I'm about to show you. And apparently these are called sachets my entire life. And everyone else in my life calls it a sachet. So yeah, there's that. I got a lot of heat in a previous video about mispronouncing it. But now I know. Apparently the rest of the world calls it something differently. But you can use these in your bathrooms, your car, gift baskets, closets, your vacuum, basically anything. Now I want to show you here that these Dollar Tree gift bags, they have pretty similar density. Now the sachet is a bit thinner, but this Dollar Tree gift bag also works nicely especially depending upon which soap you use and how strong of a smell here's this vacuum again my garbage was dirty every time I lift it out crumbs just like crawl in there and make a home and so I'm gonna link this video in the description box below that contains the vacuum this has been under my garbage can for about a week. I will say it is not very potent, but inside my closet, I can smell it when I open this uh, door because there's a lot of smelly things going on in here. All right, I opened a bar of soap. I just want to test things out and see how strong it was. It's been in there for a couple of weeks, and whenever I open the drawer or get near the drawer, it smells so amazing. And I thought, oh, if I could just replicate this rather than having random bars of soap just open in my house or in a drawer, which might look a little bit strange if it's like a sock drawer, but I mean, I mean that could work too. So we're going in with our caress. I want to try this Dollar Tree knife. Would it help me cut the soap? And again, it's just not the greatest knife for cutting anything heavy duty. So we're going in with a cheese grater and I grated a bunch of soap and then I put it in this gift bag and just put a little tape on the outside. You could also use a stapler if you wanted, but what's nice about this is it's pretty thin of a bag and it has a beautiful handle on the outside. So you could put this anywhere just like your Dollar Tree sachet, but you can make your own flavor like here in the closet. And when I say flavor, I mean scent. Now the Dollar Tree sachets, none of them really smell good to me except for that jasmine one. That one was tolerable. So here we are, we're going in with the baby mittens. I'm going to choose the mint green baby mitten because it just seems more fitting uh, inside my boys room. I put some caress soap in there and just some string to tie it off. So again, you can hang this like the Dollar Tree basket. What's nice about the mitten is it's more porous. It's more ventilated than the bag. But I'm going to put this one in the back of my son's sock drawer rather than putting a bar of soap back there. And it just looks a little bit cuter, a little more stylish. Now, how do you clean this out? It's, you get a sponge in there. It doesn't work the greatest but what you can do is take one of these Dollar Tree silicone brushes and you can get in all those nooks and crannies of your cheese grater. Just rinse it off and it is good to go for the next time you need to grate some soap or 
potato or cheese or whatever it is that you want to just get very tiny. And I don't like putting large things in my dishwasher because they take up so much space and I often find the products don't last as long. Now on to the bonus round. How did I clean those patio chairs? By the way, if you have a question, submit it in the comments box below because I will respond to you. And hey, maybe I may feature your next hack. If you took the time to write the comment, I'm going to take the time to read your comments. That's very important to me. Again, nothing in this video is sponsored, but I do love this Bissell Steam Shot for various jobs, especially the one that I'm about to show you. And I am going to show you products, whether I'm sponsored by them or not, like Tide. I love Tide and Tide's not paying me, but I love the product. So I'm going to share it with you absolutely free. Here is that outdoor patio furniture that needs a good cleaning. I have to wipe this table down every single day because we live on a pond and it just gets brown and dirty as well as these chairs. However, I don't wipe them down as often because you can see the chairs just hide all the dirt. But this is such a quick way to clean really dirty things or not so dirty things chemical free because it's all done with the power of water and hot steamy goodness and it's pretty powerful when it comes to cleaning this of course you could get your pressure washer out but i wasn't about to do that i just wanted to do a quick job with something that i could hold in my hand that wasn't going to blow the furniture across the deck no i'm just kidding but this worked fabulously well for cleaning everything you also love my little handheld vacuum that i use everywhere in fact i used it this morning so i'm going to link that video in the description box below as well i want you to click on the video because there are deals and steals located in that description box i know it's like quite a convoluted way but if you want the vacuum the videos link below I could give you the vacuum link but then you may not get the deal so there we go okay I gotta get it here we are <laughs> Woo -wee! oh it still smells good from the last video it's so good My hair smells like fresh linen. By the way, Foxy Loxy is joining us here today. Just kidding, that's not her name. But if you have a fabulous name for her, let me know. She's my favorite, yet she is not named. If you have not signed up for my free weekly cleaning and organizing newsletter, make sure that you do. It is linked in the description box below. Completely free, full of goodies and fun things. A great way that we can stay in touch. And on our road to 1 million subscribers, if you would, please share out this content with your friends and family if you found it helpful. Also, let me know something new that you learned today. I love seeing that. And if you want to see some more clever Dollar Tree hacks, click this video on screen now. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.